Good day and welcome to Love Domain Family Assembly Bible Study this Wednesday. It's an amazing Wednesday, the last of it, and the month of April, year 2021. And we are so glad to be here today. You know, prior to this time, uh, myself and uh, some other pastors in the house have been having fun and are blessing God. And I know that it's because God has something very big for you, especially today. You know, <clears throat> our reverend has been teaching on building blocks of life. And uh, that has exposed us to the liberty that we have in Christ and what we are meant to do by time what Christ has come to do for us. He talked about the foundation and talked about the other blocks. And today, our reverend will be concluding the series, which is uh, Building Blocks of Life. All right. I want to say welcome to every one of you looking at joining us this uh, moment for this Bible study. Whether you are in Kuala Church, you are in Love Domain Family Kuala, you are in Love Domain Family Akure, or you are in Love Domain Family Lagos, or you are watching from any other part of the world we say welcome and good day to you out there today is going to be an amazing day because we'll be concluding the series that Reverend started uh, so I want you to get your writing materials and uh, prepare your hearts because today we'll be concluding that series all right yeah you're welcome so uh, as we are starting this evening as we always know we like to give thanks to the Lord and uh, we'll be opening uh, the Bible today starting from the book or we'll be reading from the book of first Chronicles today which is a uh, first Chronicles chapter 29 first Chronicles chapter 29 is where we'll be reading from today as we give thanks to the Lord Most High all right so if you are there wherever you are I want you to open with me the book of first Chronicles chapter 29 as we start to worship the name of the Lord and prepare our hearts for today's Bible study. All right, so First Chronicle chapter 29, we'll be reading from verse 10 to verse 13. Just those verses. First Chronicle chapter 29 from verse 10 to verse 13. Uh, so let's go. If you are there, I'm reading from the New King James translation. It says, Therefore David blessed the Lord before all the assemblies, and David said, Blessed are you, Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of Israel, our, our Father forever and ever. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power, and the glory, the victory, and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and in earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord and you are exalted as head over all. Both riches and honor come from you, and you reign over all. In your hand is power and might. In your hand it is to make great and to give strength to all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time, I would like for us to read that portion of the scripture. Uh, First Chronicles chapter 29 from verse 10 to 13. Let's go again together. Therefore David blessed the Lord before all the assembly. And David said, Blessed are you, Lord God of Israel, our Father forever and ever. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power and the glory, the victory and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and in the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom O Lord, and you are exalted as head over all. Both riches and honor come from you, and you reign over all. In your hand is power and might. In your hand it is to make great and to give strength to all. Now, right now, wherever you are, I want you to open your mouth and open your heart as you begin to worship the name of the Lord. You know, David here was talking about the greatness, the mightiness of God, the Most High. So wherever you are right now, this is still the same God that we call our Father. And because of Him, we are here today. So wherever you are, I want you to open your mouth and begin to worship the name of the Lord. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. You know, David is talking about here, he's talking about how great our God is. 
mercies, the great and mighty things which our God has given to people, which he gives to his own people. You know, he was talking about, he said, Lord God of Israel. And he's right now, he's not just God, Lord God of Israel, but it's even your God. He's the Lord God of all the earth. He's your God. He's your Father, your Maker. So wherever you are right now, I want you to open your mouth and begin to worship the name of the Lord. Say, Father, I thank you. I give you praise. I give you glory because of who you are. I bless your holy name. I give you praise. I thank you this moment. I bless your holy name. There is none like you. I exalt you, O Lord. Blessed be unto your holy name, O Most High. We bless you, Lord. We thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We bless your holy name. We thank you. We thank you because the Bible said that uh, everything that is in heaven and in the earth is yours. It said yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power. Yours is might. That we give you praise. We bless your holy name. Uh, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you glory, O Lord. We bless your holy name. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you because you are the one that gives us riches and honor. Lord, we bless your holy name this moment. We thank you. We adore you, Lord, for there is none like you. I am that I am. We worship you. Asian of days, we bless you. We thank you because you are God. Thank you because you are God of our lives. Open your mouth and begin to worship his holy name wherever you are. Begin to thank him that he will bless your holy name. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. We thank you for the great and mighty things which you are doing. We thank you for those things which you've done in our lives. We bless your holy name. If you have been following the series for this month, you would have heard a lot of things that Christ has done for us, that God through Christ has done for us, especially we as believers in him. What he has done, that solid foundation which he has given unto us because all power, all might belongs to him. And because he loved us so much, he loved us so much and made that foundation available available, easily accessible for all of us that are irrespective of what may happen. Eventually, you will still come to him. Open your mouth and begin to worship the name of the Lord. Say, Father, I thank you. Lord, we give you praise, O oh Lord. We bless your holy name even for the solid foundation which you have given unto us. <coughs> We thank you. We adore you. We bless your holy name. Lord, we worship you. We worship you. Wherever you are, I want you to lift up your hands and begin to worship the name of the Lord. Begin to thank him. Begin to appreciate him. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise, O oh Lord. We give you glory, O oh Lord. We exalt you. We exalt you, O oh Lord. We thank you. We adore you. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your love. Thank him for his love. Thank him for his love. Lord, we give you praise, O oh Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. If you have been following this series, you would know how much much God loved us, uh, that he has made that solid foundation to be intact. Uh, he prepared the foundation. Uh, you have nothing. You have nothing in it. Uh, all you just have to do is to believe and you have the foundation. He made that by himself. Uh, and he now said, build on it. Build on it by yourself. Uh, but that solid foundation, he laid it by himself. Uh, and nothing can change it. Nothing can shake it. That will give you praise, O oh Lord. Uh, we bless your holy name. We thank you. We adore you. We bless you, Lord. We bless you for that solid foundation. We adore your holy name. I want you to open your mouth and begin to bless him even for the things that we have learned so far. For what you have added to your knowledge so far. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise, oh Lord. We bless your holy name. We thank you. We thank you for the direction on how and what to use to build on the solid foundation which you have laid down for us. We give you praise, oh Lord. We give you praise, oh Lord. We exalt you. Begin to worship his holy name. Thank him. Thank him and adore him. If you have been following, you understand better what I'm saying. Lord, we give you praise. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for that powerful foundation, oh Lord. We thank you that even after the foundation, you still told us, uh, you gave us knowledge on what to use to build on our foundation. That we give you praise, oh Lord. We bless you. We exalt you, Lord. We thank you because this is an eye opener for us. This is an eye opener. That we give you praise, oh Lord. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We exalt you, oh Lord. Be thou exalted. I want you to begin to worship his holy name. Lord, we give you praise. We adore you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Right now, I want you to begin to decree, begin to pray that in the name of Jesus, in today's Bible study, I receive light and I receive love. In the name of Jesus, I receive light and I receive life in the name of Jesus. That as you will be, as you'll be listening today, as you'll be listening today in the name of Jesus, you receive light in the name of Jesus. Our eyes of understanding is enlightened today in the name of Jesus. Our eyes of understanding is enlightened in the name of Jesus. That 
that as we are past, we will be studying today everything we have learned so far. And the one we will be learning today in the name of Jesus. Come to our understanding. In the name of Jesus. You stick with us. We walk in them in the name of Jesus. As we will be listening to your word today. As we will be listening, learning and understanding more things from your word through your son today. In the name of Jesus. Clarity come to us in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive clarity. We receive clarity today in the name of Jesus. We receive clarity, 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 light in the name of Jesus. Your word give illumination in the name of Jesus. We receive light. We receive light from your word. We receive light from your word in the name of Jesus. Our eyes of understanding is enlightened in the name of Jesus. Thank you everlasting Father wherever you are. I want you to open your mouth and begin to pray in other tongues if you can do that. I want you to begin to pray in other tongues and begin to edify yourself ahead of this Bible study today. Let Roca in the name of Jesus mazoko palegadia ile zota na gabo shaka pragazuta we thank you for the great and mighty things which you are set to do for us today, which you are set to do in us today, in the name of Jesus. That we give you praise and glory. We exalt you, O Lord. We worship and adore you. Be thou exalted, everlasting Father. King of glory will bless you. Begin to open your mouth and begin to thank him. Because today, today, your eyes of understanding is already enlightened in the name of Jesus. You add more to what you already know from the word of God today in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you praise and glory. Blessed be unto your holy name forever and ever, O oh Lord. We thank you. We adore you, Lord. We thank you for the great and mighty things which you are said to do. Blessed be unto your holy name, O Most High. Thank you, everlasting Father. God bless your holy name, O oh Lord. As we are said today, our heart is ready to hear from you, to receive from you in the name of Jesus. Those things, uh, those words that will come to us, uh, we'll put them to practice in the name of Jesus. The enablement, the ability to put them to practice, to put them to use uh, in the name of Jesus. It will become on us in the name of Jesus. We walk in them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. We give you praise and glory. Worship is only in wherever you are right now. We give you praise. We bless you, Lord. For in Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen wherever you are i want you to put your hands together for the lord and take your seat if you're eventually you've been standing before get your writing materials because today you're going to hear the word of god afresh glory to god sit back and relax as our reverend come up to give us the word for today hallelujah good evening to you out there uh, you're welcome to uh, what wonder this is our bible study uh in love domain family assembly comes up every wednesday uh for now we're online uh you'll find us on youtube 6 p.m every wednesday and you'll find the audio of this same broadcast you will find it on our podcast anchor.fm slash loves domain family um so from wherever it is you're watching us or listening to us tonight uh we welcome you Thank you for choosing to be a part uh, of this service. I believe that you enjoyed that prayer session with Pastor Kunle at Deleke. Uh, don't ever forget that Jesus warned us, or rather instructed us, in Luke chapter 18 verse 1. He said, men ought to always pray and not to faint. Men ought to always pray and not to give up. So prayer is not something that we should give up on. I don't know what it is you've been praying about. I don't know what it is you've been believing God for. But I want to encourage you quickly before we go into the word of God tonight that you need to always learn how to pray and not to give up on prayer because truly prayer does work. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All right, just before we go into God's word tonight, I'd like you to bow your heads wherever you are at tonight from China, from India, from Gambia, from Shokoto, Kaduna, from Accra, uh, from South Africa, from Australia, uh, from wherever it is you're joining us from, I'd like you to bow your heads tonight as we say a short word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We are grateful to you for all that you have done for us. What a mighty God you are. What an awesome God you are. The Bible says you have given to us everything that pertains to life and godliness. And for this, we are grateful. We thank you for the series that we have been on 
the building blocks of life. We thank you for the knowledge and the insight and the revelation that you have brought to your word. And we thank you, O oh God, because from this volume of the books that we have been studying, we thank you because we have life. Lord, be exalted in the name of Jesus. And Father, tonight, as we <clears throat> bring a close to this particular series, my prayer is that every one of us we will not just learn about these blocks, but we'll be able to apply them to our lives. And as a result of that, our lives become better, our world becomes better, and ultimately, <clears throat> we get that reward in this life and even in the world to come. Thank you, Heavenly Father. You have been so good. You have been so gracious. Thank you for giving us your word, and thank you for giving us your spirit by which we study the scripture and the scripture is being opened up unto us. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to welcome everybody to tonight's uh, service again. It's going to be an awesome time. Glory to God. I'd like you to get your Bible, your writing materials, and get ready to take as much notes as you can. I believe we've been having a wonderful time since the beginning of this month, and we're eating the climax uh, of this particular teaching, glory to God, building blocks of life. Uh, we have sat down and we have studied uh, the building blocks of life. We started from the book of Corinthians, how Paul said uh, that there is no other foundation that can be laid except the, that, that which has been laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, I told us that that foundation that has been laid, the material, in other words, that Paul was talking about, that the foundation was made of is Jesus Christ. And that foundation cannot be destroyed. It cannot be destroyed. There's nothing you can do to that foundation that can destroy it. That songwriter said, Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I know that I can stand sure and also stand secure. So in him we stand sure. In him we stand secure. Glory to God. We are not among those people who think that when rapture takes place <clears throat> or the world comes to an end, or if we die now, we're not sure of where we're going. We know where we're going because of who we believe in. Hallelujah. Then we started looking at the different blocks laid upon this foundation. Now Paul said different people will come and build upon this foundation different materials. Different kind of materials. Some will use air, some will use straw, some will use diamond. Different kind of material, but you see, the quality of the material <clears throat> that you will use will determine what happens to your work at the end of the day. But Paul made us realize that even though our work may be burnt off, because what you build on that foundation will be passed through fire, it will be tested with fire. Now, all your work may be burnt off because you didn't build well. But Paul made us realize that we will still be saved. And I showed us that the reason why we will be saved is because of the firm foundation, is because of the sure foundation. Glory to God. Then we went to the book of 2 Peter chapter 1 from verse 5 where we started examining each of the blocks <clears throat> that we're supposed to lay uh, on top of that foundation. You see, I love the way the message translation put it. 2 Peter chapter 1 from verse 5. It says, so don't lose a minute in building on what you have been given. Did you see that? You have been given a foundation. <clears throat> so he said, don't lose a minute in building on the foundation that you have been given. Then he began to roll out the blocks that you will lay upon the foundation. He said, basic faith. <clears throat> basic faith. He talked about our faith. So he began to show us the things that we will build on top of this foundation. He talked about faith. Basic faith. And we, oh my God, we, we went uh, uh, deeply into the study of faith. Glory to God. I made us realize that the believer is not one that should be asked, maybe you have faith or not. The believer already has faith. In fact, your first step to becoming born again was a step of faith. You believed in Jesus who you have not seen before. So that was a step of faith. <clears throat> Romans chapter 12 verse 3 said, God has dealt to every one of us the measure of faith. So the believer is not one who is seeking for faith or who does not have faith. The believer is one who has faith. Now the question to the believer is what are you doing with your faith? Glory to God. Then he said, add to your faith good character. 
good character. We talked about morals. Morals are fast fading away in our generation. Now, one of the building blocks of life, when you read from the King James, you use the word virtue. After you have laid, after the foundation has been laid, you have laid a, a faith on it. The next thing you should lay on it is moral character, moral excellence, good character. Praise God. Good character is very important. It will take you far in life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Don't forget that these blocks that we're learning about, it will help us to live a good life where we're here on planet Earth and also obtain a reward for it when we cross over uh, into eternity. Then he said, to good character, which is virtue, he said, hard uh, knowledge. Knowledge. When you read from the message translation, he used the word spiritual understanding. Glory to God. After you are born again, one of the things that you must seek is you must seek knowledge. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, he said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. So you will perish not because you don't fast, not because you don't pray, not because you don't, but because you do not have knowledge. And knowledge only comes by study of the word of God. That's how knowledge comes. So you need to find out who you are, what happened at the place of Golgotha, the things that Jesus has done for us, the, his accomplishment, glory to God. All of those things are necessary. It's a necessary blood that you must lay on the foundation that has been laid for you. Then he went further. Uh, he said, add to your spiritual understanding, which is knowledge. He said, add a large discipline, glory to God. A lot discipline. From the King James, he used the word knowledge. He used the word self-control. And I told us that a man who has no rule over his spirit is like a city without walls. When you're a man that does not exercise, cannot exercise self-control, you're like a city that has no walls. Anything comes in and anything goes out. Praise God. So self-control is a block that is very vital and very crucial that we must lay upon the foundation that has been given to us. Then the next block which we have looked at is what? The word patience. Hallelujah. How to your self-control, patience. From the King James, you use the word perseverance. Perseverance. You must learn to be patient. Now, I spoke to us a lot about how the men of old obtained the promise from God. They did not just use their faith. They added something to their faith, which was patience. The Bible says the men of old, who through faith and patience obtained the promise. Through faith and patience. The Bible says, he that believeth does not make haste. The one who believes that God will come true for him or her is not somebody who is in a hurry. You must have faith and patience together for you to be able to obtain the promises of God for your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And that's where we stopped on Sunday and we're going to move further and we'll consider uh, the last three blocks uh, for tonight. Glory to God. If you feel like, wow, I missed the Lord, you will find all the messages on this particular YouTube channel. You can go back, building blocks one, building blocks of life one, two, three, four, five. I think this should be the sixth one or thereabout. And also on our podcast, you'll find all the previous parts so that you can sit down, listen to them, and get blessed while you follow the teaching. Praise God. Hallelujah. So the next thing, the next block that we're going to lay is an add to your patience godliness add to your patience add to your patience godliness in other words they've laid the foundation god was the one that laid it you were the one that laid the foundation of your faith upon it then you laid virtue upon it moral excellence then you went further and you laid knowledge on it then you laid self-control on it glory to god then you laid patience on it then the next block is what is godliness now you may look at godliness and feel like oh what exactly is he talking about but when you read from some other translations uh the meaning i mean the understanding will come to you when you read for example from the message translation it talks about reverent wonder reverent wonder godliness godliness that means you have come to a point in your life where your reference for God increases. Are you following this? 
You know, at a time when we were unbelievers, we did whatever we wanted to do at any time that we wanted to do it, anyhow that we felt like doing it. But when we came to the knowledge of God, when we came to the knowledge of Christ, something happened to us. All of a sudden, the things that we used to love, the things that we used to have passion for, all of a sudden we discover that the passion for it started dying. Oh, are you following me? Now, even before some of us, the passion has, for those things, for the world, is completely dead. But before we even got here, we discovered that after we got born again, before we did whatever we wanted to do at any time, and we went with whoever we wanted to go with. But now that we are born again, now that we have come to a knowledge of God, something happened to us. And guess what happened to us? All of a sudden, before you just went without thinking. But now before you made the move, something pricked you in your spirit. Something hit your soul. Something made you realize that, uh-uh, you're not supposed to be going in that direction again. Now, you know what's beginning to happen to you at that point? Your godliness is beginning to increase. Now, I need to uh, 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 clear the air here and make us understand that godliness is different from righteousness. Oh, it's very important. Don't read to God. Godliness is different from righteousness. Now, you see, when it comes to godliness... I can say that, um, how do I put it? When it comes to godliness, I can say that I am more godly than you. Do you understand what I just said? Now what that means is that I am more God conscious than you. But you see, when it comes to righteousness, I cannot say that. I cannot come and say I am more righteous than you. And the reason is because the righteousness that I have and the righteousness that you have was given to us by one person and that's the person of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Him who knew no sin was made sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So you and I became the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. What Jesus did on the cross gave you and I righteousness. So I am, oh my gosh, should I say this? I am as righteous as Jesus is. Oh, I don't know, maybe you got that. Uh, now, I know for the religious mind, that's too, that's too heavy. Glory to God. But that's the truth of the matter. Because I'm not standing in my own righteousness. I'm standing in His righteousness. I was sharing earlier, I think about last week with us, about what happened between Barnabas and Jesus at the palace of Pilate. Barabbas, Pilate said, here is Barabbas. He stole from you. He raped your children. He did all kinds of evil to you. And he said, here is Jesus. The man who has found no sin against. Or there's nothing wrong that he has done. And he said, I need to release one to you. He said, who do you choose? And the people shouted, free Barabbas, but him crucified. And I told us at that point there was an exchange. Where Barabbas stood, Jesus moved there. And where Jesus was, or where he was standing, or where he's standing, Barabbas moved there. In other words, Barabbas became righteous, and he was freed, irrespective, oh my God, irrespective of what he has done. All the sins were wiped away. They were wiped clean. Now, what was meant to happen to Barabbas, was what now happened to Jesus. In other words, Jesus paid for the misdeeds of Barabbas. Oh, do you understand what I'm talking about? There was an exchange. So, we became righteous as a result of what Jesus did for us. But you see, when it comes to godliness, godliness is a block that we need to consciously lay. Oh, are you following me? We need to consciously lay it. We need to consciously have reverent wonder for God, for the things of God, for the presence of God. Oh, are you following me? Godliness. So I can say that I'm more godly than you. Why? Because the things of God takes priority in my life. Yeah. I hope you got that. The things of God take priority in my life. If I have to choose between this and that, or between something and God, I will choose God before that thing. That shows how godly I am. Glory to God. Somebody else may say, okay, you know what? God will understand. But let me go ahead and take this. 
Now that person is still godly because he took a level of concentration uh, uh, of consideration when it comes to God, but he still decided to opt for the other thing. So it shows that I am more godly than that other person. Do you understand what I'm talking about? So godliness is just, you know, you have having a consciousness of God. You're not being a reference for God. You're handling the things of God with reference wonder. Oh, are you following me? Are you following me? If, if you look at all of these blogs, you'll find out that some of them are even intertwined. <clears throat> Glory to God. Some of them are intertwined. Some of them lock up together in a way. Reference wonder. When, you, when, you, when you're conscious of God, just like moral excellence. When I was uh, moral excellence, yeah. Good character. When I was talking about Joseph, during when I was talking about good character, Joseph said to the wife of Potiphar, he said, I will not do this thing and sin against God. God was the first person Joseph considered. Then he now said, and sin against my master Potiphar. So Potiphar was not the first person that Joseph thought of when it comes to sleeping with his wife. It was God. He said, why will I do this and sin against God? Then he now said, talked about Potiphar. So you will find out that godliness is a very, very important key. Because you see, the more godly you are, the more God conscious you are, the more you're able to walk through life even without fear. Oh, are you listening to me? You walk through life without fear. Because you will realize that God is always with you at every point in time. Whatever you go, whatever you do, whatever you think. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Even in your thought, you are aware that as loud as you can hear me right now, God can hear your thoughts. So, godliness is a very, very important block that we must lay. We cannot afford to live our lives anyhow as if there is no God. The Bible says a fool, only a fool will say in his heart that there's no God. But like I said, I need to dis make a clarity, disparity between godliness and righteousness. Because when we're talking about godliness here, somebody's mind will go to righteousness and feel okay. But mm -mm, that's not it. We all are the righteousness of God. As righteous as Jesus is, so am I. As righteous as Jesus is, so are you. Glory to God. The men of God, the great fathers of faith that we have, that are alive today, Pastor Ian Adeboye, as righteous as he is, so are you. Or oh, are you listening to me? As righteous as Bishop Oedeko is, so are you. Why? Because even the righteousness that Bishop Oedeko has, the one given to him is the same one given to you. But you see, the difference, maybe the only difference between you and a Bishop Oedepo is that Bishop Oedepo is more godly than you. Oh, I hope you got that. He's more God conscious than you. He thinks more of God than you think of God. Do you understand? 24 hours in a day. Bishop Oedepo may be thinking about God for 23 hours in a, in a, in a day. But maybe you, you're just doing like, <laughs> just like two hours. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm talking about? So, godliness is key. And it reflects in everything that you do. It reflects. It shows in everything that you do. Because a man who is godly, who is always conscious that God is with him, will always want to do things right. Why well, you follow me? If he's at work, he will do things right. If he's in the house of God, he will do things right. He will not do the things of God anyhow. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He will make the things of God of utmost priority in his life. Hallelujah. Now, because of our time, let's move to the next block. Now, he said, and to godliness, he said, had brotherly kindness. Now, that's another block. Now, don't forget that these blocks of life, like I said, we make life worth living for you, and we will make life more beautiful for the people that are around you. Then, ultimately, you will have a reward when we cross over into eternity. Now, this next one, it talked about brotherly kindness. Now, let me read from uh, some other translation. From the Mercy translation, it talks about warm friendliness. Let me look at what the Amplified says. Glory to God. Look at this one. It says, brotherly affection. Did you see that? 
brotherly affection. Glory to God. Brotherly kindness. Brotherly affection. Now one of the things that Jesus said is, is that he said by this they will know that ye are my disciples. He said that you love one another. How would they know that we are the disciples of Jesus? He said that we love one another. That brotherly kindness is a block that will not just make your life beautiful, but it will make the life of people around you beautiful. When you have kindness in your heart. Now you see, one of the things that we're suffering in the world, especially in a place like Nigeria, glory to God, we have politicians, we have leaders who are not kind. Oh, I can say that again. And I can say this anywhere. They are not kind. It's talked about brotherly kindness. Because even in these positions that we're talking about in the government house, state government house, local government house, federal government house, and in different places, you have a lot of people who are believers in those places who, by the, I mean, <laughs> in quotes, you know, go uh, by being Christian, but yet, you see, that kindness in us is not in their heart. I I'll cite an example for you. I remember that year... Um, you know, we're, we're still back in Akure. Our church was still, you know, back in Akure that year. And um, there was a very strong man, a retired army general, if I remember well, very well now, I, I think Adebayo, General Adebayo, there about. Uh, uh, yeah, General Adebayo, you know, died in Adoikiti. Adoikiti is just some kilometers, you know, from Akure. And when this man, you see, the road from Akure to Adoikiti, oh my God. In fact, we lost a pastor friend on that road. Because of, you will see, you know, one of my friends said that when you travel on some parts of Nigeria, you don't, you don't just meet borehole. He said, what, I mean, you don't meet potholes. He said, what you see is borehole. Praise God. That's how deep some of those trenches are. Now, this road was very bad. But when this politician died, or when this retired general died, glory to God, the government came... <coughs> And they tarred that road because a lot of politicians are going to be coming from different parts of the nation to that state, including the president. <clears throat> and imagine, after they were done with that event, the last time I was on that road, it was, was uh, I mean, it has become so terrible again. And somebody said about that time, he said, should we now be praying that, you know, <clears throat> prominent people or prominent politicians should be dying? So that politicians can do our roads for us. Can you imagine that? There is no kindness. Not just among politicians. Even among brothers. Even among Christians. There is a high level of wickedness in our world today. And it's not, it's not a thing of surprise. The Bible says in the last days. The love of many will, will wax cold. Men will become lovers of themselves. Men will always put themselves before others. <clears throat> In this world that we have, we have just few people, just a handful of people that put others before them. And that's the way Christ expects us to live. Because he put us before himself. If he put himself before us, he would not have gone to the cross. But because he was able to put us before himself, he was able to die for us. And he expects us as Christians to be able to also live that way. Brotherly kindness. Showing affection to the people that are all around you. You're not the one who gossips about your brother. You're not the one who backbites your sister. Now when I'm talking of brother or sister, I'm talking of in church right now, praise God. Even in church, we have a lot of backbiters, we have a lot of gossipers. Praise God. We have a lot of people who just go, I mean, they just keep talking. Talk. They can't stop talking. Their mouth just keeps running like tap water. Glory to God. Because kindness is not just in acts alone. Kindness can also be shown in words. Oh, are you following me? Someone said, only in Christianity do we see a soldier. Because we are all soldiers of Christ. He said, only in Christianity do you find soldiers who kill fellow soldiers who are wounded on the battlefield. Oh, I'll say that to you once again. He said, only in Christianity has he found 
that soldiers will kill fellow soldiers who got wounded on the battlefield instead of helping them. Oh, do you get what I just said? You see a believer who just fell into sin or an error or something just happened. Then you find that, especially these days of social media, I don't know why I'm going in this direction, especially these days of social media, people come and begin to say, hey, oh, hey, hey, and hardly, hardly will you find people of other religion in quotes do such to their fellow people. Jesus said, by this will they know that you are my disciple, that you love one another. I thank God for Love's Domain Family Assembly. Love's Domain is a place where we're all knitted together. We're all one family. In this place, we don't talk bad about one another. In this place, we don't look down on one another. In this place, we don't talk down on people. Glory to God. If we will ever talk to you, we will talk you all. Praise God. Hallelujah. In this place, there is kindness. In this place, we show love. In this place, we show our brothers, our sisters. We show kindness to one another. Glory to God. Brotherly kindness is a block that you must lay on all those other blocks that you have laid. Very, very important. Jesus said, by this will they know that you are my disciples. That you love one another. I don't know at this junction I feel like I need to make a call for somebody out there who is who has not been uh, uh, how do I put it you're finding it hard to show kindness to people who have come um, to, uh, uh, how do I put this now who have come maybe they offended you at some point in time or they came into your uh, bad books at some point in time glory to God because you see this kindness that we're talking about here we're not talking about a kindness you know let me remind you of a word that jesus spoke jesus said if you greet only those that greet you he said what difference is it between you and the publicans i mean there's no difference between you and the unbeliever if you greet only those who greet you because that's what an unbeliever will do but you must take an extra step to greet those who are not greeting you you must take an extra step to pray for those who hate you. Oh my God, am I talking good here? So, what Peter, oh my God, what Peter is talking about here, the brotherly kindness is talking about here, if we will show it in the household of God today, then the church will not be a church that is praying to rain fire down on their enemies. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Jesus hung on the cross. And everybody was making jest of him. If you are truly the son of God. He said come down from the cross. And we will believe you. And while they were making jest of him. <clears throat> Jesus said father forgive them. For they know not. What they are doing. And I'm sure. Somebody must have wondered. Why would they be killing you? Yet. You are still praying for these people. Why? That's the kind of kindness he's talking about. Now to the last block as we round up this particular series. Then he said, add to your kindness, brotherly kindness love. I mean, add to brotherly kindness, sorry. He said, add to brotherly kindness, he said, add love. I'll read it to us from uh, the message translation. Glory to God. Glory, glory to God. The message translation, look at what it says. Um, he said, right from wonder. Now, the word brotherly kindness in the message, you use the word warm friendliness. Then he said, and generous love. Generous love. Now, that brotherly kindness and generous love, they work hand in hand together. But that's the last block, really. That's like the roof. Praise God. Everything is covered. Do you realize that? That every block you have laid is now being sealed with love. Love is the topmost. Love is the roof. That's what covers everything. Love is important. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the last verse, Paul said of faith, hope, and love. He said love is the greatest. The greatest is love. The one who professes 
that he has seen God, but yet does not love his brother, John was saying to us that that person, he doubts if that person truly has met with God. For the one who has met with God would generously love people. Because that's the character and the nature of God. And when you meet God, the nature of God is infused into you. When you have an encounter with God, the nature of God is impacted into you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He loved the world that he gave. He gave because he loved. Hallelujah. And he said the last block to her, to brotherly kindness. He said, add love on top of it. You see, one of the reasons why Christianity is different from all other religions in the whole world is because of this word love. Oh, are you following me? You have heard of other religions whereby, you know, if you don't believe in what they believe in, they are permitted to kill you, praise God, and not just kill you, but for killing you, they will be rewarded with seven virgins in heaven. Praise God. Hallelujah. I told somebody, I said, these ones want to get married to, because they want to get married to virgins in heaven, they are ready to strap bombs on themselves and go blow up their fellow brothers, blow up their fellow human beings. Glory to God. Christianity is all about love. The last block to cover up all the blocks that you have laid. From the foundation which has been laid, which is Jesus, the sure foundation. Down to faith being laid on that block, on that foundation. Then the next thing, virtue. Then from virtue, you move. From virtue, you move to knowledge. From knowledge, you move to self-control. From self-control, you move to patience. From patience to godliness. From godliness to brotherly kindness. Then to capital, then you put love on it. The one who professes that you are seeing God, but yet does not love his brother that he has seen. In fact, the way John put it, John said, the man who claims that he has seen, that he loves God, who he has not seen, but yet hates his brother who he sees, he said, no, 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 no. That love he professes for God is not real. And sincerely, I can tell you, I've met a lot of people who are supposed Christians who are full of hate. You can't touch their thing. You can't borrow things from them. You can't give... I mean, you can, you can do almost nothing with them. Not almost nothing with these people. Love is the greatest. Love is the greatest. By this will men know that you are my disciples. That you love one another. If you're just joining us tonight and you have missed out on all the different parts of this particular series, I'm going to advise you again, I'm going to counsel you again to go to our YouTube channel, this particular YouTube channel and watch all the other blogs. What we talked about, all those other blogs, they are very critical and very important. You can also go to our podcast to listen to the audio just in case you're trying to conserve your data and listen to all the various parts that we have taught before now. Building blocks of life. When you lay these blocks, you will enjoy your life here. When you lay these blocks, you will have hope in this life. And not just in this life, but even in the world to come. Because a reward awaits the people that lay each block, each block the way they are supposed to lay. Don't forget where we started from. Paul said that different people will come and use different materials to build on it. Some will use grass. Some will use diamond. Some will use gold. Some will use straw. But whatever it is that you are built on the foundation that you have been given, your work is going to be tested through fire. Your work is going to pass through fire. And if everything burns off, then you will have nothing to show for it. You will have no reward, but your soul will still be saved. That's what Paul said. You will still be saved. But, I mean, why would you just be saved and have no reward when you cross over into eternity? So on the foundation that you have been given, all these blocks are critical, very important. If you are able to infuse all of these blocks into your life and leave them out, you will find out 
that you will live your best life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Wherever you are tonight, I want you to rise up to your feet. And your prayer point for tonight is, Lord, all these blocks infuse into me in the name of Jesus. That's your prayer point. Wherever you're listening to us, in Kuala Church, wherever you're watching us from, wherever, from wherever, in America, in Jamaica, wherever you are, in China, Dubai, that's your prayer point for tonight, that Lord, I lift up my hands unto you, I surrender my totality unto you, I stand upon the firm foundation that has been laid, and Lord, the divine enablement to be able to lay each one of these blocks and leave them out effectively in my life. Let that divine enablement come upon me in the name of Jesus. Come and open your mouth and pray for yourself wherever you are tonight. Open your mouth and pray for yourself wherever you are tonight. Building blocks of life. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. There's an impactation going on right now. There's an impactation going on right now. There's an impactation going on right now. All over the airwaves. All over the airwaves. On YouTube. On this podcast channel. As you're listening. There's an impactation of God's spirit. Oh my God. There's an infusion. There's an infusion into your life. There's an impactation upon your life. Oh my God. I feel it. 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 Yes. 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 Yes, yes, yes. I feel it. I feel it. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's an impartation going on all over the internet. Yes. 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 That is it. 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 Take it. Take it. Take it. Take the impartation. Take the impartation. Take the impartation. Take it. Take it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There's a divine enablement coming upon someone right now. A divine enablement to be able to live the God kind of life. To be able to live the God kind of life. Oh my God, that divine enablement is coming upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Spirit of God is moving through the airwaves. It's touching everyone right now. In that car, yes. In that car where you are. Oh my God, there's a presence in that room. In that car right now. Oh my God, I feel it so strong. I feel it so strong. Thank you, Jesus. There's an infusion. There's an impactation going on right now. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We will not just learn these things, but there are things that we will make use of. There are things, there are things that we will begin to live out. Oh, thank you, Father. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Oh, my God, the Spirit of God is still moving. It's still moving all over, all over. Yes, yes, yes. Right there in Canada. Yes, 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 yes. In your living room. Yes, 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 yes. That's the power of God. 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 Take it. Take it. Take it. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There's somebody watching from Ghana right now. Oh, my God. That's the power of God. That's the power of God. You're still in your office. Yes, that's the power of God. It's coming upon you. It's coming upon you. You will be changed from inside. You will be changed from inside. This change is not going to be from, 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 from outside in. No, 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 no. It will be from inside out. Come on, take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we worship you. Just wave your hands onto him tonight. Wave your hands unto him. Glory to God. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. From this time forth and forevermore. Thank you, Father. Oh, for this time to be able to go through this series, to be able to go through this teaching, to be able to study your word, we thank you. Oh, we bless you, God. We bless you, God. Our hearts rejoice in you. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the impartation. Thank you, Lord, for the infusion. Thank you, Lord, for the impartation. We will not remain the same again. Our lives will not remain the same again. For each of these blocks will be revealed in our life. Because from this moment on, men and women all around us, we begin to see the fruits of this teaching in our lives. We bless you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for the revelation of God's word. Oh, thank you, Father. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen come on wherever you are go ahead and just celebrate jesus tonight celebrate jesus tonight glory 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 to god 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Once again, we'd like to welcome you and say thank you uh, for joining uh, our service tonight. We believe that that word blessed you. I'd like to encourage us again. Let's go back and listen to all of the series. Let's hear them again and again and again. And there are whole loads of messages also on our podcast channel. They are all there to be uh, of blessing uh, to you. Glory to God. Um, on Friday, this Friday, which is the last Friday uh, in the month of April, <clears throat> as we prepare to enter into the month of May, uh, we are having um, Supernatural Night. And don't also forget that it doubles also as a day of fasting and prayer in Love's Domain Family Assembly. So we encourage all our partners, all members in Lagos, Akure, Kuala, all our partners from all around the world, all our friends, followers, uh, to also join us in that fasting uh, on that day. Praise God. Then by 11 p.m. on Facebook, we all come together and we pray uh, for one hour on Facebook. Praise God for Supernatural Night. And I'm telling you, we've had testimony between the last Supernatural Night and this one, we've had testimonies. And I'm telling you, if you will join us, by the time we're having the next one, your testimony is going to be next in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So do not forget, set your alarm, set your reminder on your phone. Let, I mean, put it somewhere, write it on your wall on Friday. I'm waiting on God, I'm fasting and I'm praying to God. I'm believing God. Early morning on Friday, the prayer points for that day will be released on all our social media platforms so that we'll know the direction in which we're channeling uh, our prayers to. Glory to God. And by 11, join us on Facebook as we pray together and believe God and trust Him for the best in the month of May. Hallelujah. And all our services still remain the same. 9 o'clock, 9 a.m., all our campuses' doors are open in Lagos. We're here. The doors will be open by 9. Project R3, R5, E Close, Third Avenue. In Akure, Love's the Main Family Assembly, opposite between all Elisha Garage. And in Kuala, Traveler's Cave. It's a very popular hotel in Kuala. That's where we use every Sunday, 9 a.m. Um, um, <coughs> Etenem Road, off Afia Eze Road in Kuala. That's where Love's Domain Family Assembly is in Kuala. Our doors will be open by 9. Make sure you join us if you're anywhere close. And if you're not anywhere close, you can join our online service on Facebook. Hallelujah. Uh, very quickly, I'd like you to give your offering for this particular service. The church account is going to be displayed on the screen right now. From wherever you're watching us, you can do your transfer uh, to this particular account. In Akure, you have your local church account. In, Le in um, Akure, you have your local church account and also in Kuala. But for people who are watching us, this is the church account uh, that you will give your offering for tonight's service into. And we trust God that as you give towards the work that we do in Love's Domain Family Assembly, that God will make all grace to abound towards you, that you will always have more than enough, and that at no point in time in your life, Will you ever be stranded in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Thank you, Heavenly Father, for tonight. We give you all the praise. Thank you for what you have done all through the month of April. We're prepared to receive more from you as we enter into the month of May. Lord, we know that it will keep getting better and better and better. Thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you for your spirit that you have given to us also. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. God bless you. Do have a wonderful evening.